The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with your host, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the March 11th Turnaround Tuesday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I absolutely treasure your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with the tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks, that's truly what it's all about. Hope everybody out there had a, a great day yesterday, a great evening. Let's go take a look at one of our tools. This is the tool I call Creating Transformation. You know, the key to making life really unique and really worthwhile is to share. Sharing has a certain unique magic. Here's what I've learned in sharing ideas. If you share an idea with 10 different people, they get to hear it once, and you get to hear it 10 times. So by sharing, you're getting even better prepared for the future. Therefore, share your ideas with your family. Share your ideas with the people around you. Share your ideas with other employees, your colleagues. Because by sharing, two things are going to happen. Now, I don't know how to explain it. I just know it happens. I don't even know how it happens or why it happens. It just happens. And it's this. If you share with someone else, they could be transformed. You see, you may have dropped in at the exact time because what you share may be their moment, their magic moment. Picture this. They've got three numbers dialed into a lock already. And if you share your idea, if you share it well and you share it right, you might be that fourth number that can dial into the lock of personal experience and voila, the door will open and the present of an opportunity will be seen like never before. An opportunity that I like to call transformation. And guess what? You and I, we're always looking for transformation. Transformation for today, transformation for this week, transformation for this month, for next year. You know, we're going to talk about maybe transformation in the stock market today. We're always looking to be transformed. Picture this. The caterpillar one day says, you know, I think I was made for something more than just crawling around on the ground. So the caterpillar climbs a tree, attaches himself or herself to a leaf, and spins the cocoon. Who knows what disciplined effort it takes to spin a cocoon? But something inside that caterpillar says, I was designed for something more than being just a caterpillar. And then, when the cocoon is ready to open, it opens up. Out comes a butterfly, which flies away and may even be singing that song, I believe I can fly, I believe I can touch the sky. You know the song I'm referring to. Look, the caterpillar says, I used to be a caterpillar on the ground, and now I can fly. You know... Each day here at TFNN, we're offering you such a metamorphosis, an opportunity to learn, you know, new skills, new things, and maybe the language that each of us speak is difficult to learn at first. Maybe at times it even seems awkward. But this is how transformation arrives, folks. Transformation, that's what it's all about. So if you're transforming yourself into a market technician, you need some assistance, just give me a call, 877-927-6648. I'll do everything in my power to provide you with that fourth number, that number that unlocks the key to your door of transformation because, you know, folks, every risk is worth taking. And as long as it's for a good cause and contributes to a good life, well, that is what it's all about. So, creating transformation. Make that be your focus of today. Let's go check out the transformation that we've got going on inside these markets. Well, not much of a transformation, kind of a flat market here. Right now, Dow futures are up nine points. They're trading at sixteen thousand four twenty-two. S and P futures up one point, trading at eighteen seventy-eight and a quarter. Nasdaq futures up six points, trading out at thirty-seven thirteen. King dollar up seven cents, trading out at seventy-nine eighty-four. Not a ton of movement in the currency market. Hard currency market, well, a little different story here. Goldilocks up six bucks and change, trading out at thirteen forty-eight. Silver up a little over one percent right now, up twenty-four cents. It is trading out at twenty-one fifteen. Light sweet crude back forty-one cents, trading out at one hundred point seven one. 
A quick peek around the globe. Let's see what we have going on over in Europe right now. The DAX, that is uh, up 43 points. The FTSE is flat. It's down two points. Over in Asia last night, we had green arrows. However, really a flat market in the uh, Shanghai and Hang Seng. The Shanghai was up two points. The Hang Seng up four. It was the Nikkei that was up 104 points, up about seven-tenths of a percent. So where do we begin our day? Hey, let's begin our day with the tug of war between the Fibonacci retracement numbers out here. I've got the ES Mini up on my screen. Now, yesterday, as we were coming into the uh, 11 o'clock time frame, as we were doing the handoff to Basil Chapman, price inside the ES Mini, this is a 30-minute chart that we're looking at. It pushed down to a uh, low of 1865.75. Didn't quite make the 1.272 expansion of a, a set of uh, swing points. The set of swing points here being the 3.30 a.m. time frame from March the 10th, from that low all the way up to the high that was put in at 5.30, up at 1878, uh, also occurring on March 10th. It made about a 1.2, not 1.272. Hey, close enough. What it was doing, though, was making a still a 0.382 retracement. That's it off of the most recent significant low out here inside the 30-minute chart on the ES Mini. Well, that's coming in at 12 noon on March the 3rd out here. So, 0.382 retracement. Well, now we fast forward to where we're at this morning. At the time frame ending at 6.30 a.m., what we saw is price moving and making a 0.618 retracement of this swing point that took place at 2.30 yesterday afternoon, as well as that low from yesterday morning at 11 o'clock. So I had some pretty good Fibonacci retracement support. Again, that price level out here, 1833.75. Now, if we take a look at what's taking place here along the top, you can see, boy, if I were to go ahead, well, first, if we take a look at from the actual top out here, the high that took place at 9 o'clock in the morning, that was Jobs Friday, right, on March the 7th out there. If we go from that high, which was 1887.50, down to the uh, low that came in uh, yesterday, we're going to see that all the retracements here are basically at the 0.618 retracement level out here. So we really have the war of Fibonacci. I can't tell you which way this is going to uh, break out here. Uh, we can't see that we've had this uh, little, but we'll call it sideways consolidation, at least along the uh, top out here. There we go. And we take a look at that. You can see that price has not been able to, at this stage here, break above. We'll call it the high of 1878.75. Now, if price does break above that level, what's likely to happen? Well, you got really two things that you could take a look at. Number one, you could take a look at the retracement from the high down to low. So 9 o'clock on Friday morning out at 1887.50. So go from that high down to the uh, low out here. We saw a bounce that took place yesterday, right? Bounce taking place as price was doing what? Getting to the oversold level of that 14-period RSI. So you can see the 0.618 level. So the next logical area for price to move up to, if it can break through this 1879 area, about 1882. That should be your expectation. Now, you've also got the potential here for an A to B equals CD to the upside. The uh, A point is going to be yesterday morning's low. I can't tell you whether this pattern is going to work or not, but let's just take a look at it. We need to know the outcomes of both sides of any trade that we're in. So if we take a look at that low at 1865.75, that would be our A point. Our B point I'm going to use here coming in last night at uh, 10 p.m., that's out at 1879. The retracement taking place, that was this 0 0.382 retracement, 0 0.618 retracement. Uh, just depends which swing point you're using out here. That taking place at 6 o'clock this morning, and that's out at 1873. A 1 to 1, A to B equals CD would take you up to the 1887. It says, hey, guess what? You go up and you at least revisit the highs here from Friday out there. Don't know that that's the pattern that is in play here just yet, but um, you know it, the market's neither oversold nor overbought on the 30-minute uh, chart, so that is one uh, potential out here. Let's go take a look at some other potential in the uh, marketplace. Let's look at the uh, silver. As I mentioned, silver was trading up this morning, up a little over one percent. It's trading out at twenty-one sixteen. That's up uh, about uh, twenty-six cents right now. Silver here, the uh, the blue line. What is that blue line? $20.69. That looks like that is probably, let me just make sure here. I don't want to do probably. That is the 50-day exponential moving average on my chart. That is, uh, well, that's what held the support yesterday. Now, 
resistance really just overhead this is a daily chart uh, this is a daily chart the red diagonal line that you're seeing on my screen if you are following along with us on uh, tiger tv and if you are thank you so much you may be listening on the radio your mobile device at tfnn.mobi we do appreciate that remember the archive of this show is on channel nine and of course you can get the live stream by going to the home page of tfnn.com upper right hand side you'll see a button three little smartphones on that uh, click on that the show streams live and you're going to see that price here uh, needs to get above the the descending price channel. That's that red diagonal line on my screen. Not only above that, if it pierces that level, and the price area, I would have to say, piercing that level is probably right around the $21.45 area. That probably pierces it. Then it has some resistance. That's that 200-day exponential moving average right now. That's at a price point of $21.86 out here. So Silver looking pretty good. Uh, even silver, if silver, we do have a currently high pattern. Uh, if we take a look at that, remember H.M. Berkeley, is a book out here. He did not have a requirement. He did not have the requirement of making and using the uh, Fibonacci uh, numbers out here. And we were looking for an A to B equals C D. In this case here, we don't really have the full completion. Well, let's just say we're close. We're, we're close enough, aren't we? Because one to one A to B equals C D would be twenty-eight dollars and looks like about fifty-five cents. But what we saw here yesterday was a law. Was a uh, low going to a twenty dollars and sixty one cents. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. If you're new to TFNN, then you've probably heard some of our hosts and traders talk about the exciting charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. Tuesday, March 11th at 6.30 p.m., Dave White and Tom O'Brien will be hosting a live study session for anyone with a subscription to this exciting charting program. During this hour-long online workshop, Dave and Tom will lead a brief presentation along with taking questions from those that attend. Right now, we have a great deal for all new subscribers. You can sign up for the art of timing the trade charts and get your first entire month for only $1 while gaining access to this live event with Tom O'Brien and Dave White. For more information on how this exciting charting program works, you can click on the Charts button on the front page of TFNN.com today and check out some of the videos that walk you through a variety of the features included. Sign up now by taking advantage of this exciting offer for just $1 before it's too late. Visit TFNN.com today. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 50 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, 
the dollar, the forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Steve takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Traditionally at 727-445-1044. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Welcome back, folks. Uh, 877-927-6648. Uh, we'll do the best here we can. It's having some type of, some type of uh, data connection uh, issue out there, so my apologies for uh, for everything. It uh, looks like uh, Dow Futures up 21 points, but I'm seeing my system looks like it is uh, down out here. So we'll just simply uh, struggle through this, do the best that we can. Hopefully you are following along with us here on uh, Tiger TV. Uh, boy, I wish I had some other better way to do this. In any event, let's uh, let's continue taking a look at the markets. I'm going to switch over to the uh, daily uh, time frames out here. That will make things a little bit easier since I don't know that I've got the uh, data feed uh, going on right now. In fact, I'm sure that I don't. Um, so what a problem. What a bummer. In any event, so I'm going to switch over and take a look at the uh, daily uh, index uh, futures out here. And the uh, the issue with regard to, let's take a look at what has been going on over the course of the last several days. You know, if you listen to the show, you know that I say that the uh, body of a candle is the essence of uh, price out here. And if we take a look at the uh, candle session from March the uh, 7th, March the 7th, what we have really seen taking place since the uh, big, nice upthrust that we saw inside of the uh, S&P, really inside of the market, which took place here on March the 4th, inside the S&P, the ES Mini, what we have is we have a sideways consolidation uh, box that is set up. Now, the, this sideways consolidation began uh, back in October of 2013 when price was down at about the 1734 level. That was the low that was made out there. We saw price uh, make a high back in uh, December, December 31st. Inside the ES Mini, it got up to a level of 1846.50. From there, it goes ahead and makes a descent all the way back down to the bottom of the consolidation. It was really the trading session on February 3rd, 4th, and 5th that really marked that consolidation box that we're taking a look at. So the consolidation runs from about uh, 1734 at its low to about the 1846 level at its high. It says we've got about 112-point consolidation. Now, the ES Mini broke above that level on February 27th, stayed above it, tested it on February 28th. Then we had the uh, big drop uh, last Monday, the Putin drop out there, the Ukraine drop, a price drop right back inside it. And then, of course, the very following trading session, big move up in the uh, marketplace. So what that is saying at this stage here, it's saying that the ES Mini has broken a 112-point consolidation. And therefore, if, in fact, this is a real breakout, says that the ES Mini ought to trade out to about 1957. And right now we're at about 1880, give or take, because I don't know that my data feed is actually live, but we're right around the 1880 uh, mark out here inside the ES Mini, and 1957 could be the number. Now, the interesting thing out here is that the last five trading sessions, that's including today as we speak here right now, the last five trading sessions, all very narrow bodies, all very small bodies. So we've got a little bit of a consolidation that's going on here. On the daily chart, the ES Mini really not being in the over uh, bought range, so there's really no reason for it to move sideways like this. We did have this little doji candle that had formed on March the 7th. 
uh, it was also a key reversal session. So that says that in order for this 112-point consolidation break to occur, you're going to need to see a close above 1887.50. If you see a close above 1887.50 in the ES Mini, if you're short, pretty good chance that you are wrong out here. But that is your resistance level inside the ES. Now, where is price likely to expand to? Well, if we just simply go from that high from December 31st all the way down to the low that was put in on February 5th, that low being 1732, you'll also see that right now we're trading at 1880. 1878 happens to be the 1.272 expansion level. The next spot for price to expand to would take you up to about 1917, obviously below the 1957 area, but that would be your next expansion level. And that would say if you get a close above 1887.50, that is likely where you would see price move up to. Likewise, if in fact the resistance area here holds at 1887.50 and price comes back, the first likely test that we'll see is going to be a test of 1846. We'll see the ES Mini try to get back inside the consolidation. If it does dip back in solid, it does does dip back in that consolidation pattern, and if it does stay inside that level, it's likely to move all the way back down to the bottom as it would signal that it's a false breakout. So right now, we've got very small-bodied candles that are forming here. We do have the resistance, and that's going to be that doji candle from March the 7th, that price being 1887.50. During this break here, I'll see what I can do to get things back up and uh, running. Dow futures look like they're up maybe about that 26 points or so, gold up about 7 bucks, trading out at 13.48. Be right back, folks. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together Well, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technamental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. 
Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex box spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we the stars when we're together. Well, it's always better so when we're together. Internet up and everything's working. I will uh, sign off and come back to my usual time. So uh, while Steve's uh, trying to organize himself over there, I'm here, Basil Chapman. Usually I do the 11 o'clock hour. That is uh, the opening, or oh, my service is the opening call. I do the Tiger Technicians hour, 11 o'clock till 12, so Eastern time. And so it's my pleasure to be uh, sitting in for Steve at a moment's notice. Just happened to be right in front of the computer. So let's just go to the numbers. The Dow's down 14 to 16,403. And this is, I usually mention the day, this is whatever day it is, Tuesday, <laughs> March the 10th. Uh, we've got the Dow down 14 and 16,404, S&P's down 85 cents at 1876. Now, this is going to be very interesting. The uh, Comp Index, let me just move this up a little bit. The Comp the comp index is up uh, two points at 4,336. You've got gold, if I can find it right here. Gold is up 830 at 1349. Silver's up 27 sets at 2118. This is a fascinating day, and a, it's really a very important day in my work, and I'll, I'll give you a couple of reasons, and I'll go through those reasons later on as well. High-grade copper right now is down to the 3 level, 3.03. .03. If it breaks and goes into the 2.90s, I have to say, that together with the FXI, let me just put this in right now. The FXI is the uh, the China uh, iShares, the FTSE China 25 ETF, not acting very well. Lousy candle three days ago. Hasn't been able to fill that candle. It's got a long, long wick. And trading in this area says at 34.42, down two cents. It better move quickly and sharply to the upside to get to the 34.92 level of the nine period exponential moving average. Let me just find this here. This is the Dow Jones China. This one here is the Dow Jones China 88. And uh, that has broken to a new low. It's testing. It's almost going to test the, the Roman candle wick of the June the 28th of last, the week of the June 28th of last year, at 167.33, said 168.78. And the monthly chart has this H, uh, the lowercase h pattern. I talk about that a lot in my work. So when you're trying to put together what's going on with the copper, and uh, let me just get to this HG, the copper continuous contract, uh, also had a Roman candle yesterday, and it says that if, if copper goes to 3.01, there's a real good chance it's going to retest the low of yesterday of 2.9955 on the continuous contract. Now, there are a couple of things that are going on. For my subscribers every day, what I show them is this. Let me just move this up a little bit. Oops, not wrong one. It's this chart here. Uh, there are two things. that Since December the 31st, at 16,588, the Dow has not been able... And this is, to me, really fascinating. The Dow has not been able to test or surpass its all-time high. Wait a minute. That's all of January, all of February, 
and a good few trading days of March. And yet it still has not been able to take out the high of 16,588 for a market that has known nothing but higher highs and higher lows. That, to me, is a, a, a sign that we've got to be somewhat cautious. So for my subscribers on my opening call, it's my daily service, very comprehensive service. This is what I said to subscribers today. Um, now, there, there was... I, I, this is the first paragraph that I put in, but then I add another paragraph later on uh, after the close uh, or early in the morning, the next morning. And uh, so it's very comprehensive here, but I also show a number of charts. And I, in my traders' corner, I give the parameters for the Qs, the GLD, um, the Diamonds, DIA, whether or not we have these positions, even General Electric, which I consider to be very important uh, um, uh, um, uh, stock to be watching. So. But when I put this together, and the fact that we are possibly making a peak F in the daily chart of the Chapman Wave, well, let me just quickly explain what that is. In the Chapman Wave methodology, the simple concept is you try to identify the lowest, most obvious low bar, and from there on, you can count each successively higher peak and label them with uppercase letters A, B, C, D. These where you can anticipate there could be a sharp pullback, doesn't have to be, but that's where you can expect that it could happen. But you could still go on to an E and an F, even a G sometimes. Or you could recycle. It gets a little more complicated after D. So when I have my uh, uh, trade, uh, my Master Trader Series, that's where we go into all these variations. And all they are are variations of the concept. Because you could start a brand new buy mode at a PD if within two bars, sorry, within three bars, you break to a new high with certain conditions. In a bear phase, and this is what I've been trying to emphasize to my subscribers, one of the reasons why we are now only in short positions, uh, we might have long positions, but they are long uh, ETFs that are short, 200% or 300% short. And because of that, I was expecting just one stock that we had, which I was upset that we got out of, we were taken out of yesterday for a nice profit, but that wasn't the point. The point was I wanted to hold it for that leg D. Remember I was talking about the leg Ds? I wanted, in fact, I'll tell you what the stock is because we do not have it right now. And, and the whole deed is done. It's made its leg D to the upside. And that is uh, Atna. Oh, there's the music. So we've got a break coming up. I'll be right back after the break. Uh, let's see. It's always better when we're together. Back to the chapel. The chapel sitting in for yeah, Steve Rhodes. I'll be right back down south anymore. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. 
Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability. Available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars. It's internet, so it was my pleasure. I was here and I said, no problem. I'll just jump right in. Usually I have the show 11 o'clock till noon uh, called the Tiger Technician's Hour. Now, this is very important to me. In a bear market, that is in a bear phase, and that phase could be a bear market if you're trading a two-minute chart. The bear market could be very short. It could be five minutes that it goes down, straight down. But a bear market is when you're looking at, let's just find one right here. Uh, is that a 10-minute chart? There you are, a 10-minute chart. Went to a peak E in the E-minis. Anybody trading the E-minis, you would have got your peak E in the 10-minute chart. This is what I call the naked chart. There's nothing here. Other than the, I didn't even need, I didn't even need uh, anything here, but uh, I didn't need the candles. I could have had bars. It's gone from a low in the E mini. Um, this is the March from uh, five fifty ten minutes to six this morning Eastern time, and low of eighteen seventy three seventy five. It went peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. Held very well. I went from peak D, shot up to peak E, and that peak E was at 1880.75, uh, and that gave us a signal on that next candle down to say the down arrow could be placed there, and that went quickly from 1880.75 down to 1871.75. I would say that, that is a nice five points uh, pullback. So in a, in, in a bear phase, the ten, the ten, the tide changes, but in a bear phase in the general market, and we haven't yet got that. I've only got a signal to say that in my work, based on my Chapman Wave methodology, we prepare by going short different indices and sectors uh, based on the lettering, based on the techniques of the failing stochastic and MACD. I had other techniques that were saying yes, but I have not got the actual sell signal, even on the Qs, which are turning down, and the stochastics at 75% under 80, and the MACD is just turned negative by the fast-moving average, that green line. This is the daily, this is the weekly, this is the monthly, crossing negative. I have to wait before I can put a down arrow to say 
that I've now got a cell signal, not a cell mode. To me, to, in the Chapman wave, cell modes are the implication is a much deeper correction. A, a by mode means that at least you're going to go to a minimum of peak D. So in this particular instance, what I'm looking at is that there is an opportunity to start the negative action here by the technique both techniques and I'm using the Chapman wave lettering at a peak D in the Qs and if I go to the IWM, I spent some time yesterday talking about the IWM, it would be a peak E but the MACD is not turned negative in, in the IWM, the Russell 2000 and the stochastic is still at 85 percent even though it's turning down. So far the IWM at, at 118.87 is down 43 cents and holding for the second day that black line, that nine period moving average, but I've got another technique behind it that says there's another moving average that is crossing above that black line, the nine period moving average, and it is saying the upside at this particular point is very limited. If I go to the DIA, this will have my notations from my subscribers. I show this chart every day. Let me just take that off there. So this is an F with a question mark, peak F, six highest peak. See, the MACD hasn't even, st it's just flattening out. It hasn't even turned down yet. And the stochastic is still at 86%. There's some internal strength. Now, I said to subscribers this morning that based on my work, there's a technique that I've got called the Chapman Wave Trend Gauge. It's really based on Richard Arm's uh, Trend Index, Short-Term Trading Index. But I use numbers completely differently to the way he's developed his technique. And my technique said that within two days, and that would be by Wednesday, there should be a sign that the futures are strong, and that should carry up seven to nine points from the low of whatever they make, and that should translate into the Dow. So I'm signing off right now. I'm not sure if Steve will be back or if I'll be helping you out for the next hour. My show is usually at 11 o'clock. So stay tuned. We'll be back. One of us will be back straight after this break. Dow's down 23. S&P's down 2. Dow's with Chapman sitting in for Steve Rhodes. Yeah, it's always better when we're together